Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this Pokemon Tomato Cream Ramen Cup. This came to us in a uh, Japan candy box. They sent us the box for free and this is one of the items in there. Couldn't really review it on Tamu's channel, so we thought we'd do it on this channel. So um, it's all in Japanese, just to let you know. The only bad thing about this box, we found that there's no English directions anywhere on this container. And um, you go to the book they give you and there's no directions there. And um, there's no directions anywhere. Um, so um, it says something about you don't don't microwave it, so that's good. Um, you put water in it and let it sit. Basically, this is like just your typical ramen cup. You um, this one's wrapped in plastic though, so I guess it's good or bad. I don't know if I've ever seen one wrapped in plastic. So I don't know how much these cost normally. If you were to go find these at a Japanese um, specialty store or whatever, but. Here we go. I've got boiling water with me. You boil water whatever way you want to. Oh, there's the top. That's cute. So you put the boiling water up to the fill line. So I guess you you pull back the lid to this line. Oh, it's got a little sticker. That's cute. I'll open that in a second. So you open it up to the fill line. I mean, you open that up um, to that line. It's got a fill line right there. You put boiling water in there, which my water is very hot. And like I said, you boil your water whatever way you want to boil your water. Whether you put it in the microwave, the stove, what, whatever way you got to boil it. A Keurig, I don't care how you get it. And you fill it up to the fill on. Looks like it has a little shrimp or something in there. And then you close this lid up and then you let it sit there. I usually sit something on top, a spoon or something, just to let it kind of um, sit there. Put it, I'll get a fork because this is a noodle bowl. It's probably going to be more... There we go. Kind of holds it together, uh, keeps it from um, opening up and letting the steam out. So that's supposed to let set for three minutes. I'll be back when the three minutes are up. Okay, it's been three minutes, but I'll leave that for a second because it's it doesn't hurt it usually. So I'm gonna show you what the sticker looks like. Oh, it's it's almost the same picture. It's on top, uh, just a little different. It's got a little cheeseburger and ice cream. It looks like that's cute. Yeah, number twenty five Pikachu and number eight thirty five One Pachi. Yeah, I don't know that one. I know Pikachu, but I don't know that one. That's pretty cool. It's got a little sticker, so I'll probably give that to the to the grandson. So I it smell it says it the the bowl the box said it was uh, tomato cream. It smells very fishy. Um, I'll just tell you that right now. Then that looks like shrimp or something. So there is there it is basically. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this all the way off. And I do have another bowl I'm going to pour this into because I want, normally I would just eat it right out of this, but I want you to be able to see um, what you get in this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's only a little piece of shrimp or something. So I want to pour it into a bowl. No, that's not dirt. That's just in the bowl. You get quite a bit. If you look at it from just a regular size bowl, you wouldn't think you get that much uh, looking at it in this container, but you get, you get quite a bit, honestly. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to um, let this cool off for just a minute, uh, break up these noodles a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I'll get you over the table and we'll try it out. All right, so here we go. I, I didn't give it a long time to cool off, but I want to get just the, as much of the, just the noodles I can at first. So you, so you have to deal with it. You get these really long pieces of noodle. Here we go, I'm just gonna bite it. I brought a napkin with me this time. Most of the time I forget. Uh, the noodles and the broth are good. The uh, It's not a super strong, I thought it was gonna be very fishy, but it's not. I'm gonna try just one of these little pieces of, what are these little orange things? Oh, they sure look like dried shrimp. Pretty sure it's shrimp. Oh, yeah, it's definitely shrimp. It's, um, it's not bad, it's kind of foamy, kind of textured. Like if you're chewing on a piece of like a soft styrofoam, but um, it's not bad. It's what's funny is it smells kind of fishy, but it doesn't really have a, a strong fishy taste. So that's good. Let me stab one and get it with my noodles. Not bad at all. The when you do get it with the I eat the, the um, noodles with the shrimp. You do get a little bit of that fishy shrimp flavor, but again, it's not bad. I'm surprised that they said this was tomato. Uh, they actually listed it as a tomato cream. I don't get any tomato flavor at all. 
Um, the the soupy the broth part is a slightly pink color, but it's not a it's not tomato. You know what I mean? Um, it's not bad. It's not very well seasoned. That's the only thing I can say about it. Is it's it's a good ramen. It really is has a good flavor to it. Um, the the shrimp pieces are kind of fishy once once you start eating them. They are a little fishy, but um, overall the seasoning in there is just not a super strong seasoning. It's not bad, um, but it's not really exciting either. So just just keep that in mind. I do like the texture of the noodles though. That three minutes plus a little bit more was perfectly fine um, to cook them and stuff. So it's good, not great. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's just your average, just ramen. You know, if you, if you eat ramen before, you know this This is one of the plainer ones. But uh, if you like the shrimp flavor, then you might really like this. You only really get it though when you eat the piece of shrimp, so it's funny. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.